Lucas was a boy who carried the weight of difference on his shoulders. Since he was little, his wheelchair was like a shadow that accompanied him. Wherever she went, separating her from the world of other children. At school, it was as if he lived on a lonely island, surrounded by stairs. Curious, but far from the joy of games and friendship. The other children, in their cruel innocence, often ignored him or treated him with indifference. Lucas was the last one to be chosen for the games, which left him with a heavy heart and a bitter taste in the mouth. Excuse me. He felt like he was trapped in a glass bottle, watching life happen on the other side, without being able to participate. On a particularly cruel day, the games in the schoolyard seemed to have been custom-made to exclude it. The children ran, laughed and had fun, while Lucas watched everything from his side. Wheelchair, with a lump in his throat and tears in his eyes. The words of others sounded like stabs in his heart. He can't play with us. He's different. Leave him alone. Lucas couldn't take it anymore. The pain of loneliness was like a weight that destroyed him inside without thinking twice, he hid in a corner of the courtyard, where his sobs, stuffy were the only company. Tears ran down his face, mixing with the dust on the floor. At this moment, something unexpected happened. Anna, a girl with a heart of honey and a contagious smile, realized the Lucas's absence and he was worried. She looked for him in the courtyard, and when she found him hiding and crying, her heart tightened. In a soft, gentle voice, Anna approached Lucas and asked what the was distressing. Between sobs and broken words, Lucas vented all his pain and frustration. He talked about the loneliness he felt, about the indifference of other children and about the desire to be accepted and have friends. Anna, with the wisdom that only children possess, hugged him and said, Lucas, you don't, is alone. I want to be your friend. And I'm sure others want it too, they just don't know how to get closer. Anna's words were like a bomb for Lucas's wounded soul. From that day on, something started to change. The other children, touched by Lucas' story and Anna's compassion, they began to approach him more timidly. Little by little, Lucas was integrated into the group. Games became more inclusive, conversations more frequent and more dignified looks. Lucas began to feel the warmth of friendship and the joy of being part of something bigger. Over time, Lucas became a popular boy and loved by everyone. His disability, once seen as an obstacle, has become just a part of who he was. His contagious joy, his good humor and his intelligence made him the leader of the class, always with a smile on their face and a friendly word for everyone. Lucas never forgot the day he bumped into him in the schoolyard. It was from that moment that he learned that true friendship is not. It matters about the differences, but rather about what is good within each person. His story became an example of overcoming and inclusion, inspiring everyone to look beyond appearances and build a more just and humane world. Lucas was living proof that difference does not define who we are, but rather what we chose to do with it. His wheelchair, once seen as a prison, has become a symbol of his strength and determination. He was an example that, with love, friendship, and inclusion, we can all achieve our dreams and build a full and happy life. Lucas, with amusement on his face and emotion overflowing in his eyes, climbed onto the raft and joined the water friends. They sailed across the lake, laughing and having fun as if they were in a sea of adventures. With each challenge overcome, Lucas felt stronger and more confident. He learned that disability was not an obstacle, but rather an opportunity to show the world that anything is possible when you have willpower and friends who believed in you. Luke's story became an example of overcoming and inclusion for the entire community. He was seen as a hero, a symbol that difference does not define who we are. It was from that moment that he learned that true friendship is not. It matters about the differences, but rather about what is good within each person. His story became an example of overcoming and inclusion, inspiring everyone to look beyond appearances and build a more just and humane world. Lucas was living proof that difference does not define who we are, but rather what we chose to do with it. His wheelchair, once seen as a prison, has become a symbol of his strength and determination. He was an example that, with love, friendship, and inclusion, we can all achieve our dreams and build a full and happy life. Lucas, with a smile on his face and emotion overflowing in his eyes, climbed onto the raft and joined the water friends. They sailed across the lake, laughing and having fun as if they were in a sea of adventures. With each challenge overcome, Lucas felt stronger and more confident. He learned that disability was not an obstacle, but rather an opportunity to show the world that anything is possible when you have willpower and friends who believed in you. Luke's story became an example of overcoming and inclusion for the entire community. He was seen as a hero, a symbol that difference does not define who we are. His journey has inspired other children with disabilities to follow their dreams and never give up on their goals. Lucas proved that life can be an incredible adventure for everyone, just have a open heart and friends who support you.